been documenting the town's history here in State College. There's one person who's really documented many of the notable people from here, and he's done it in a unique way. He is a State College native, and his family have been longtime residents of this area. And in recent years, especially, his work has drawn more attention. And Gary, you had a chance to talk to him. Yeah, if you drive around State College, you are familiar with his artwork. You don't have to go very far to see a mural on a building, on the side of a building in downtown State College, done by Michael Pilato. Pilato is a State College native who's been working on these murals for ages. The murals, they like to feature folks who are notable to the area. Michael Pilato is a State College native who has literally painted the town. His murals are on numerous buildings here. His inspiration mural downtown has drawn worldwide attention. And I've been painting murals in this town since I was a little kid. And I was working on that mural across the street with another artist by the name of Yuri Karabash. And I was just looking at this big empty wall going, oh my God, I want that wall. Hundreds of people are depicted who either have some ties to State College or Pilato's life or Penn State, famous or not. Kyle Johnson here sadly died while running the Pittsburgh Marathon about a year and a half ago. He was a great um, Lion ambassador here at Penn State and he had a rare dis uh, heart disorder and he had a heart attack. Many of those depicted are well known, sometimes tragic stories such as Lieutenant Michael Murphy, a Penn State grad, a Navy SEAL who died in combat in Afghanistan and was awarded the Medal of Honor. The first member of the U.S. Navy to be awarded the military's highest honor since the Vietnam War. Um, that's his dad's handprint and mother's handprint. And when his dad put his handprint in, he said the first phone call he got after his boy died was from Hillary Clinton, and the second phone call was from Joe Paterno, and the Paterno sent him white roses. So he's got a white rose. Joe Paterno's holding on a white rose, and Sue Paterno has the white rose. The Paterno family, their impact and stories are throughout the mural. Why didn't you paint Joe and Sue together? But the way society works, people would say that's Joe's wife, Sue, and she stands her own two feet with the amazing work that she's done and continues to do to make this world a little brighter. Jerry Sandusky's image was removed shortly after his arrest. I got some flack for that for doing it so quickly, but I just gave the young man the benefit of the doubt. I didn't want them to have to walk by and look up and see him on the wall. During Pilato's mural tours, you'll hear the personal stories, and you're also likely to get some philosophy and wisdom. You know, Benjamin Franklin said, tell me and I'll probably forget. Teach me and I might remember. Involve me and I will learn. And as we all know, the Special Olympics dance marathon, getting involved is the most important thing. You know? Pilato first began this mural with a few faces close to 14 years ago. He works in other towns, including another large mural in Williamsport. They're all entitled inspiration, and for Pilato, he says it's a tribute to his main inspiration, which is his family. Michael, Michael Pilato is still adding faces to that mural, which is just a few blocks down the street here on High Street Avenue. And Michael Pilato telling us he wants to make it interactive. What he wants to do is install an electronic system where I have a button here, some of those notable names, when you push the button, you'll hear their voices, wow. you'll hear their stories. So That's continue to upgrade that mural, which has become a major tourist attraction. Yeah, really down. Yeah. Gary, That's thanks awesome. so much. Thanks for inviting us. Good to see you guys. Happy to, be, you. We're happy to be in your environment. Always good to see you, Mr. Radovanek. Always good to see you. You're buying dinner tonight. Okay.